Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, that's right, it's not a live video because I finally cleared some space on my phone. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a little tour of my shelf here that you guys always see in the background of my videos. I'm going to be going over everything in detail and it's going to be a pretty long rambly video if you want to see um, what's on my shelf that sits behind me, then please keep on watching. Okay, let's start from the top and I'll work my way down. Over here, I have this letter E, by the way, to the, this side of my wardrobe, wait, to the, this side of the um, shelving unit is my wardrobe and to that side is my bed. Um, so that's a letter E that my best friend Gabby gave me for my birthday, I wanna say in year seven. Um, I have a bag here from Gucci Beauty from when I bought some lipsticks. Um, I have two American dollars um, from Disney that my boyfriend brought back from me, um, from me. He brought them back for me from last time he went to America. Actually, it was the time before, two trips ago when he went to America. He goes often for um, Worlds because he competes um, for Jiu Jitsu Worlds. Um, I have these two Polaroids in these really cool, like, um, they're kind of like acrylic. Perfect. They're acrylic little frames and they're just like little solid pieces. Um, and I have one here of my dog who has passed away, but he is my bestie forever. Hey! And then over here, this one is of me, Frilly, and Laura, my besties. Um, and we were dressed up as angels from the Don't Call Me Angel music video that Miley, Lana, and Ariana Grande did together. So that was the theme of the night. Anyway, that's a Polaroid from that night. Um, and then here at the front, I have my lightsaber that I received for my birthday last year from my boyfriend. It's Princess Layers, and I love it. It's rose gold. It's beautiful. Um, and yeah, I'll do a whole video about it eventually. I just keep um, not doing a video about this lightsaber because there's so many specs and stuff, and I want to like talk about it properly. But she's beautiful, and she gets pride and joy position at the front. Um, at the back here, I have my holiday 2020 special edition Ariel doll. She's gorgeous, and you'll notice that Ariel and mermaids are like my favorite. There's a little tiara on top because slay. Um, this is my animators edition Ariel doll. So she's like a younger version of Ariel. And I really like the animators edition dolls because they're made in collaboration with the actual animators. So obviously Glenn Keane is involved, um, with Ariel's animation. And so he helped design this doll to make her look as like accurate to the movie as possible. And so I really like that they've captured Ariel's essence really well, um, in her doll here. On the top, I have a little tiara that I've worn to like some balls and stuff. And down here, I have my Toki Doki Unicorno. Um, he's the one that, or she is the one that's Love Note. Um, that's like the thing it's called. Um, and she was from a blind box. And I was really lucky because I only ordered one blind box and I actually have an unboxing of it on my channel because the one blind box I opened, I wanted just this one really. And I opened it and this was the one I got. I was so stoked. That was like only time I've ever been very lucky with a blind box, um, but the only time I've really cared, to be honest, because I love this Toki Doki so much, and I like that it's, like, translucent and a mermaid, and it's, like, a little love note inside. I just think it's so cute. Here I have a Tiffany & Co. Um, bag, and then I have a Tiffany & Co. sunglasses box, because I think it was last year or the year before I got Tiffany & Co. sunglasses from my boyfriend for Christmas. Um, back here, I just have a Victoria's Secret bag, and inside, you can't see, but there's some perfumes. So, let me, like, pull one out. So, there's some Victoria's Secret body sprays. I think Love Addict and Pure Seduction are in there, as well as um, the Britney Spears, um, the pink perfume from Britney Spears in, like, the circle. Um, the really iconic one in there as well. Anyway, at the front here, I have two little wallets. This one's just from DH Gate. Um, it's just like a little zippy coin pouch. And this one is a legit one that my boyfriend gave me for my 21st birthday that um, is like very special. Also, I'm really sorry my nails are all like chipped and busted, but whatever. Anyway, yeah, this is um, my actual wallet that I use a lot. And it's the Emily wallet in the Rose Ballerine and Monogram. And I have videos up on my channel if you want to see more about it. Um, over here, I have a little Juicy Couture box that um, my juicy necklace came in. And then back here I have um, Vanessa and Princess Jade, the big babies edition from Bratz. And they're both wearing tiaras because, you know, it's slow. Down here I have another Toki Doki. Um, this figurine is actually a key ring. You can see there's a little hole in the top of its head. Um, but I actually twisted the key ring out and made it a figurine instead. But I can always twist the actual key ring back in and it becomes like... Um, 
keyring again. <laughs> and then next to it, I have um, a little, oh, what are these called? It's on the tip of my tongue. A Kimmy doll. I have a little Kimmy doll. And again, I think this one used to be, no, no, it's just a figurine. I was like, if it's got a hole in its head, it used to be a, um, a keychain, but it didn't. But this one's name is Ko, and she's so cute. I actually thrifted her, so she's not from my childhood. Anyway, at the front, here is my favorite candle ever the Bath & Body Works does. It's the Hot Cocoa and Cream. Um, this one's from like two seasons ago um, with this like ski lodge design. It's so cute. It's like a little Christmas town, but yeah, this is a Christmas candle, and it's my favorite scent that they do. Um, this is an inhaler because my boyfriend has asthma and I just have it here so it's like always visible so if he comes over and he needs an inhaler I have one right here and I always know where it is because it's very obvious it's not in a drawer it's not in a box it's just right here anyway back here I have um a little frame with Elle Woods 20 because Elle Woods for president um Legally Blonde is like one of my favorite movies ever um Elle Woods is a feminist icon and so that's a little sticker actually from Redbubble so um, I couldn't choose where to stick it so it's just in that frame for now. I also have two boxes, the little Pandora boxes and a Pandora bag. Okay let's go into this first little cubby. By the way if you're wondering what this like um, shelf is called um, it's like the Kallax shelf from Ikea and it's um, four by four if that helps. This is the first cubby. It's got some little eyeshadows from ColourPop that I'm keeping in the containers because, in the packaging, because they're so cute. That one's the Princess Aurora one. And that one, of course, is the Princess Ariel one. I have a doll from um, Rainbow or High, and this is Leela Yamamoto, and she's holding um, George's bag. Um, I'm thinking about keeping my Rainbow High accessories behind this Victoria's Secret box. This is a Victoria's Secret train case. Usually my empties live in here, but I just emptied it out because I just finished all like my recording of my empties video. Um, but yeah, that's what usually lives in there. And then if I want to go somewhere, I just dump out all the empties and use this as like my traveling makeup bag if I want to, because it's like a train casey kind of thing. Um, and then over here, this is just the instructions that go with Leela that I haven't decided where to put officially yet, but I'm thinking I might just like hide it behind this box. Oh, and then down there, <laughs> this is so random. This is a little Hello Kitty on a popsicle stick um, from when I was at the club and it was the club's birthday and I stole the Hello Kitty. Well, I didn't really steal it. They were going to get rid of it. So everyone was like holding little like characters. They were like Pikachus and like, I don't know. I chose Hello Kitty because you know, um, this is like my little Kylie shelf. So I have a bunch of my favorite Kylie boxes because I really like the way they look aesthetically. And then my favorite Kylie cosmetics bag. Um, and yeah, that's just that shelf. There's nothing behind it. It's just like the empty boxes. Um, because I think they look pretty. They're all from like my favorite collections. Like this one was a Christmas collection. This is like the classic exposed packaging. She's since changed the packaging. This is so nostalgic to me. Like this is so peak 2014, 2015, 2016 era. Um, another Christmas collection the Coco collab um, and then I have some more of them in here um, that's like from an old birthday collection and stuff like that okay in the next cubby this one has some books so this one's the Prada catwalk book and this one's the Dior catwalk book um, and then at the back I just have a Prada box and that's from my sister's Prada reissue bag um, we have a video up on that on my channel if you're interested in seeing that and then I have my I Heart Revolution Little Mermaid collaboration makeup pieces out because I think they look pretty um, this is a candle that my bestie Sarah gifted me thank you Sarah it smells divine and and I don't know if I had the heart to burn it because it smells so good and it's so cute and it was just such a beautiful gift. Like, thank you so much. It totally caught me off guard. And then my pride and joy, probably the most expensive doll in my collection. I don't know why I'm stumbling on my words so much today. My most expensive doll in my collection. This is Miss... Oh my gosh. This is Masquerade Madness Chelsea. And she's a mermaid, obviously. Even her little chihuahua pet is a mermaid. He's so cute. And then this is a cup that my grandma made. She's really into like, um, would you call this pottery? Yeah. She's really into that right now. And she's been making some really cool things. And this is actually supposed to be a whale tail. Um, but I always interpret every whale tail as a mermaid tail. So to me, it's a mermaid tail. And inside this cup is every single one of Chelsea's accessories. I have a whole video up on my channel about Chelsea and unboxing her and everything. And so I have her complete. Like she has every single accessory, every like earring, every sunglass, um, her hairbrush, both her sets of shoes, both her outfits, everything. So all her other accessories that she's not currently wearing are in that little jar and they're very special to me because she is a very special doll. Obviously she's absolutely gorgeous and she's one of my holy grails. Um, over here I have another Victoria's Secret bag. This one's more of like, um, 
what would you call it? like a bathroom bag you can fit like your hair products your body products it's that kind of a shape and it like folds out i have some dior um lip products um that my mum bought for me that look really pretty so i leave them out and then this is the packaging from my dose of colors mermaid shade of the ideal duo i just think the packaging is really cute but i actually love the shadow and it's in my makeup collection but i like the packaging out and i kept it because it's cute um back there i just have some like um packaging from stuff because i am a big fan of like makeup packaging and so sometimes i keep it before i get rid of it because i just like to stare at or like have it or something so yeah that's just like honestly hoarding back there but you know it doesn't get in the way of my life so whatever um this is a little acrylic magnetic frame again and i have two stickers in here they're both from a brand called hellpraiser which is a brand by my favorite artist ever on instagram he's at art by dasan and he makes these really cute artworks you'll see more of them um later on in this video but yeah i just love his art style and these are two stickers he sent for free when i did um an order for some other stickers which was really nice of him then on the next shelves i have all my shoes and handbags well, not all my shoes and handbags, but the ones that I want to have out on display. They're pretty much all my heels um, and all my nicer bags. So these are a pair of black pump stiletto-y style ones. Um, and these are some ones without pumps at the bottom that are just like, wait, they, these ones are platforms and these are not. These ones have like a curved toe and these ones have a pointed toe. Um, so this is like the black shelf. I also have this random perfume that I've thrown in here. This is um, black citrus from that brand that I can't pronounce. Um, if you're wondering what I'm wearing, it's my Victoria's Secret black fluffy robe because it's really comfy. Anyway, um, at the back there, I have my Chanel classic flap. Here are some Tony Biancos that I got thrifted. I think it says, like, I can't remember. It's like $18 or something. But as you can see, these have been worn down all the way. I really need to take these to um, like a shoe repairing place and get the tips replaced. So they look like that again. Um, by the way, these are from a like shop that closed down, but these are pleasers. Tony Bianco's platforms and then the pointed toe ones so that's like more of a curved toe the more pointed toe ones are pleases again and then that's my Victoria's Secret Bond Street bag um which is in the like pink chevron but it's like a little bit lighter of a pink so it goes with the nudes um in my opinion more than this does this is my um as Birkin in like the pink shade and then I have these from Shoes of Prey which are again like a more of a curved platform shoe and then these are my um fabulous I think they're called um they're from the same brand that does pleases it's like one of pleases off brands and they're like um i don't know how to pronounce it but they're like marabou slippers Mar i don't know how to pronounce it but they're so cute um they're like satin on the bottom and then they have um fluff on the top and i think they're so gorgeous and the bottom's just plastic they're actually very comfortable and i just i'm obsessed with them they're so gorgeous um on the last shelf it's kind of like the random one so i have a pair of red pleasers and then these are from steve madden and they're like all like Cinderella shoes. They're like all crystal and diamond. At the back, that bag is from Shein, I believe, like yonks ago, before I even knew they were problematic. And that bag was a gift from my aunt and I wear it mostly on Chinese New Year, but it goes with a lot of outfits as well. So sometimes I wear that with like um, an all black fit or an all red fit, or I don't know, it's got like a, what would you call that? Like a brocade kind of um, cherry blossom pattern all over it. Anyway, going down, the next shelf has one of my childhood brats on it. It's not the actual doll. This is like, I repurchased her um, because I must have given away my childhood brats. But this is Dynamite Megan um, from the Dynamite's like line that brats did. I have two Honey Burdette bags. What's in this one? Oh, in this one, I have some stickers. Wait, I'll show you these stickers because they're so gorgeous. These little cheer stickers, again, from that um, artist art by Dasan that I was telling you guys about. Um, and they're all little cheerleaders because if you know me, I'm a cheerleader. And so these stickers are like vibes. And then these are the two favorites out of all of them. Like these are really cute, but these two are my favorites. So these get to be in the little frame here um, and the rest go in this bag. And in that bag, that little box that's got the red that you can see in the tissue paper, that is a porcelain Ariel doll. And the back there I have some like other things like the packaging from my Toki Dokis in case I want to put them back in the boxes um a Disney key I think I have some other Disney keys in there some other bits and bobs so yeah that's what's in those two bags um but if I ever want to like display different things on these I can always like get rid of some stuff like rearrange it and I don't really necessarily need to keep these bags but I like having um bags like this on display because it's a great way to like hide clutter while still utilizing storage if that makes sense like it looks clean from the front but in reality i've got like 12 random different bits and bobs that i want to hang on to in those bags if that makes sense um so yeah 
at the front here, I have my um, Mulan um, Disney ColourPop collaboration. Um, they have a little lip trio in there, which is really cute. And then I have this from Honey Budget as well. This is the Santa's Little Secret Christmas Cookies Soy Massage Candle. So it's just a candle. Um, and then this is honestly a tag that I've just taken off and left there. It's from one of my Honey Bodette body suits. And then over here is um, something that my sister gave me for Christmas, most recent Christmas. Um, and it's a rollerball of the Veronica's perfume because we grew up listening to the Veronica's and it's kind of like an inside joke between us that um, we're the Veronica's. We're um, fun fact, we're not the Veronica's. Anyway, this next cubby is like kind of the opposite aesthetic to this one. This one's a lot more like, I don't know, these things like porcelain-y kind of vibes. So I have my um, jewellery box at the back with like more nostalgic jewellery in it. I had these two boxes. Let me zoom in. I have these two boxes from Gucci um, from like Gucci lipsticks. I have these little fairies. So there's a blue one there who sits on top of a box and there's like just like things, little trinkets in there from my childhood in that box um, from when I went on like a school camp. And then in that one, she isn't standing on anything. She's just like a little fire fairy with a dragon. So she's like a water fairy and she's like a fire fairy. And I bought them at like the great Aussie bush camp when I was like eight, I want to say. And I've had them forever. Um, this one is one that my best friend Maddie gave me. Um, these two ballerinas were gifted to me by my mum. Actually, I think they were like prizes. Yeah. So when we were kids, if you were good, you could earn points. And if you saved up the points, you could get the prizes, which would sit on the top of the kitchen cabinet. Sometimes they'd be a book. Sometimes they'd be a toy. These ones were like mm, big deal prizes. So like these are really fancy to me because I earned them and they were special to me. And so I've always hung on to them because, um, I saved up my points and got these ballerinas. Um, years later when I knew what currency was, um, they were $2 from like probably some $2 store. So I just think it's really funny that these $2 little ballerina figurines hold so much value to me because I don't know I worked for them when I was a kid back here I have some more tokidoki figurines um from the little love set and then that little like plastic looking thing is like a little ziploc bag full of like tiny tiny shells um this is a bluebird from one of my childhood friends and this little container is um just a little I don't know what to call this it's really beautiful it's like hand cast it's like really smooth and soft it feels really nice it's like a little container with um my watch inside and then my signature scent is the original chloe perfume just chloe by chloe by chloe and i have a little mini here how cute but that's the normal size anyway in the next compartment i have a doll that i always wanted when i was a child so that was the childhood doll that i did have but there was a doll that i always wanted and would stare at when i went to the shops and it was this one and now that i'm a grown-up i was able to spend my big girl money on this doll, this is Yasmin. She's stunning. Um, and that is her flower that's supposed to be in her hair. I haven't actually popped it in yet, even though I keep saying I will, but that's the flower that goes in her hair. Um, that's not the hairbrush that came with her. That's just another hairbrush that I stuck this little umbrella that I got from a drink in. Um, I have my bag from my Hermes, um, lip pencil, my bag from my Louis Vuitton wallet, which is up there. And then that bag, it's a Gucci bag. What did I get in that? I don't remember what that Gucci bag is from. I, I actually have no recollection. Oh, actually, I do know. So you know how there was that Gucci beauty bag up there? I bought one lipstick in that bag and then the other lipstick, see how I have two Gucci lipsticks? The other lipstick came in that bag because I bought them from two different places. One of them was David Jones and one was the Gucci store. And so David Jones has like a Gucci beauty counter there. That's why I have a Gucci beauty one. Okay, that makes sense. Over here, this is a shelf that um, is more of a practical one. I can just grab this bag and go. This is my um, Dior bag that my mum gave me. She was going to give it away um, to one of our other relatives. And I was like, mum, I'm going to wear that. And so she was like, okay, you can have it. So I wear this so much, literally all the time. It's one of my most worn bags. Um, so it's just there. So it's easy access. Then I have... It's got dog hair on it but this is my Chanel catwalk book behind there there's a Chanel box and then my Tiffany boxes from all my like Tiffany um jewelry that I get for like Christmases and birthdays and stuff usually from my boyfriend thank you Will I love you and then um my sister and I's Vivian Westwood boxes because I like the symmetry um but this is kind of like a blue and gray and black blue feature shelf if that makes sense anyway working my way down this is my Bratz shelf and so these are all oh if you're wondering what's on the side 
those are some books um, because my sister and I are moving around our bookshelves at the moment. But yeah, it's kind of a random assortment right there. Um, if you want me to do a bookshelf tour, I can. Um, the bookshelf's not a thing right now, so there are just random piles of books around the house. But if you would like a bookshelf tour, let me know in the comments below because um, usually my bookshelf doesn't live in my bedroom. Um, I usually have a bookshelf in the, another area of the house, and so I've never shared my books with you guys before. But if you'd like a bookshelf tour, I can do one. And yeah, I don't really like want to become like a book channel or anything. Like, Not that I'm against book channels. I do watch book channels, but... Um, I like to stick to talking about like dolls and like makeup and stuff, but um, I can just do a little tour of my shelf and give a brief favorites or something like that if you're interested. Anyway, back to the brats. So these are my cheer brats. They're each um, different cheerleaders. So um, Chloe, Yasmin, um, Sasha, who is like one of the prettiest Sashas, especially in my opinion, just like the blue with Sasha is always like a yes. I don't know. I'm really into blue on Sasha. This Yasmin has the softest hair ever and she is so pretty. This Jade is actually a custom Jade that I did. Um, she's just a wave one, um, like re-release Jade and I made her a little outfit to match my own personal all-star cheerleading team's outfit. Down here I have my brat's baby's like grails. Um, I can't believe I own all of these dolls because I love them so much but I have um, twins Phoebe and Roxy, hair flare Yasmin who is like I can't even believe I have her. I even have the pets and I also have um, Nina and Wait, Nita and Nora. I almost got their names wrong there. Anyway, um, and they're like hair flare babies. And as you can see, look at their elastics. They're all breaking. Um, so if anyone has any top tips on um, good elastics for doll hair, I really need to get them some new elastics because oh, I hate that their elastics are breaking. It took me ages to do their hair nicely like this. Anyway, um, here's Zombie Gaga. And here is... Um, Caddy Noir, and I gave her like a new outfit that's like all rhinestones. I just like wrapped a sheet of rhinestone around her to make her like a kind of Ariana Grande inspired outfit. Um, and I really liked the little two piece on her. I also sewed those socks, but they're kind of dodgy, but you know, they look all right. Um, I really like this outfit on her because she's kind of got like an Ariana Grande pony, and so I, I was like inspired by Ariana's style for her. Um, nothing against her actual outfit that she comes with, but I just wanted to restyle her. Anyway, here are my Monster High dolls. Um, I really want to get, um, like, a couple of things changed about this shelf, but this is what it looks like for now. So I've got Venus, McFly Trap, Frankie Stein, Dracula, of course, Claudine Wolf, and Rebecca Steam, and they're all gorgeous. Behind them that you can't see... Wait, let me, like, sorry, Dracula. Behind them, I have the Werecat twins. Um, this isn't all of my Monster High dolls. There are some that are, like, work-in-progress dolls. But these are the ones that are out on display. Dracula really needs her necklace and umbrella. Otherwise, all of these dolls are totally complete. Um, it irks me a lot, though, that Dracula doesn't have her necklace, which is so minuscule and not many people even notice it. Um, but, like, it irks me personally. Um, I really like my dolls to be complete, so... If you have a Draculaura necklace or umbrella, I really want to buy one. Um, otherwise, I would just buy a Draculaura Cree production. Um, but I can't get my hands on them because they're not available in Australia yet. So, yeah, keeping my eyes peeled for those. But that's my little Monster High shelf. I try and have, like, one doll brand or, like, doll line per cubicle. So this is my Lala Loopsy room. Um, lots of fun in here. Very colourful um, playful kind of room. Um, in here, I have like a shelving unit from Ikea. All the furniture in this room, by the way, is from Ikea. And so is the little um, couch the Werecat sisters are sitting on and that little table behind there. It's like a little coffee table. But yeah, all the furniture here is also from Ikea. Same with the rugs. Um, my Lala Loopsies, of course. Um, I have collection videos up on each of my individual um, doll collections if you want any more detail on anything in particular. But I've got all their handles down here from um, all of their packaging. I love the era when dolls came with like cool handles for their packaging. I wish we could go back to that era. I just think it looks so cute and I love like having all of their um, handles and I, I think they look cute lined up like a little rainbow. Anyway, this is like some accessories from all the dolls that I've put into the shelves here, some pets. Um, yeah, I have all of them complete. So if they're not wearing like, for example, like um, she's not wearing her bib, it's in there, things like that. I love them so much. And I also have the like, what are these called? Like the minis or whatever. I have a set of four minis as well um, that I don't think I've shown as much on this channel, but... Um, they're very cute. 
but my favorites are the littles. Anyway, this is the last cubicle and it is my Little Mermaid cubicle. The Little Mermaid is my favorite Disney princess of all time. So at the front here, I just have some um, minis from the Zuru Disney um, mini blind balls and stuff. Um, I really, really want the Animators Edition Ariel, but I keep not getting her. But I have a bunch of other minis as well, which is fun for like doll photography and like having and stuff. Um, I have wedding edition Ariel and that's her box back there. I kept the box because it was really nice. I really prefer the cardboard packaging they're doing these days because then you can keep the packaging and put them back in if you want and like it's less wasteful. The packaging looks better. It's just better in my opinion. Then these two are both Ariel from um, the playline of Disney Stores Dolls from 2020. Um, she is just redressed in an accessory pack but she is like in the original outfit. That's her original outfit. I just put it on the floor. Um, I'm going to hopefully reroute one of them and turn them into a Vanessa. Down here, I have a mini version of the Animators Edition Ariel. She's really cute. I keep her in box because she's precious to me. Um, this is a Play-Doh Ariel that I have from my childhood. She's got some blue tack on her. Ew, she's kind of dusty. I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, you can stamp that into your Play-Doh and make an Ariel face and she is special to me. As well as this one Ariel head, which is from um, Tokyo Disneyland when I went when I was three years old. I've always been obsessed with Ariel, even when I was three. And um, she was like a little figurine, but I only have her head left. But who cares? She's really pretty. And I really liked... The figurine was, like, all metallic. So, sorry, there's, like, fluff on my head. Um, yeah, I like that I can remember the figurine by just this head. But I remember my dad tried to glue it back together for me, but something didn't work out. So, I don't know where her body is. It's kind of sad. Um, this is the little basket that goes with that accessory back. Accessory pack. And then this is a little seat from Ikea again. And these two are the little accessories that come with the Playland dolls. Um, she came with the hairbrush. And then the 2020 ones, they come with these, like, random badges, as you can see the one in box still has. But, like, they're just little clips. Um, yeah, that's what's down here. Those shoes that are back there, the little black ballet flats, they're just from some Barbies. But they fit on the... Um, like doll feet for a Disney store doll. And so I'm thinking about using a pair of them um, for my Vanessa doll when I make her eventually. Next to it here, I have my Rainbow High um, poster that is literally not a poster. It's just the back of Lila Yamamoto's um, box. So it's literally just the back of a season four box that I cut off. Um, hopefully I can do something with it because I didn't want to get rid of it. It looks like such a beautiful artwork. I'm not like the biggest fan of the Rainbow High artwork, the way I'm like a big fan of like the Disney artwork, the Monster High artwork, Brad's artwork even. Um, but it is nice to have because there's Leela there. So I wanted to hang on to it. But yeah, it is cute. I'm not against Rainbow High artwork. I just like prefer the other ones. That's why I don't have as many Rainbow High dolls, but I'm getting into them. Anyway, on the side here, um, I'm not going to like talk about it a lot, but these are my dead tired um, Monster High dolls. And again, you can see Draculaura's elastic popped. Anyway, I really love these. Um, they're like my favorites. Um, yeah, that's all I have to share, I think, about my little shelf. Let me back up here so you can get a better view. That is the shelf that you see behind me when I'm filming my YouTube videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below any comments. I don't know. Share whatever. Um, you can like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more from me. You can follow me on all my other socials. My at is emilyteach20 on pretty much most platforms. Um, you can follow me on, I don't know, TikTok, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest, Visco, Instagram, all the places. Um, and I have in-depth videos of like pretty much all the things you've seen. If you want to see an entire shoe collection, search up on my channel and it's pretty much up to date. I have my entire like bag collection, all my dolls, um, and it, like in detail reviews of each doll, like of that Bratz doll, I have a whole video about her, you know, details like that. So if you want to see more details about anything that you see behind me, um, just let me know. And if I haven't done a video on it, let me know and I can make a video on it. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll just do a little pan and then I'll catch you next time. Also, with this top shelf, I try and create a little bit of symmetry. So this is the middle of the shelf, right? And so I kind of had two dolls, two dolls, toki doki, toki doki. Some frames, a frame. This is like centered because there's like a piece there with the candle on the other side. And I try and I try and center what I've got going on. And like at the top here, I try and balance out the colors so that I've got like pinks, blues, and 
don't know, so it's a little bit more even. And then at the bottom it gets very colourful when we get into the doll area. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.